Yeah. Uh huh. The lecture hall, y'all. Lecture hall. Yeah. Let's do it. Hey, this is your captain speaking. Welcome to the first episode of the lecture hall. Ready to bring y'all that news, that gossip, that info. We're about to inspire, we're about to move, we're about to motivate. This is what we do. Like I said, this is your captain. K-A-P, knowledge and power. To my right, got my homeboy, Rich. Yo, yo, what's good? What's good, Rich Williams? To his right, we got my man, Jonathan T. Hey. Willard. You already know, representing. You already know. You already know. We got a great episode for you today to start it off. Rich, what we got, man? Man, we got, we're going to touch on a couple of topics today. Uh, the first one, man, all of us is at the racetrack this weekend, so we had the pleasure of oh, meeting yes. a beautiful Miss Lisa Ray. <sighs> oh, my God. Miss Lisa you know, Ray. No, Miss Lisa. Lisa. I'm oh. telling you. Tell yes. you, black don't yeah. crack. No, hey, not so, at all. Oh, not man. at all, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. And also, man, so we're going to touch on some of the stuff, you know what I'm saying, with Lisa Ray. And also, we gonna uh, we had this little, little kid come to the track, man, a little eight-year-old. He calls himself the Cookie King. Cookie King. You know what I'm saying? For all you business-minded people out there, all you entrepreneurs, man, y'all can take some notes from this kid. Man, no excuses. Uh, no oh, excuses. Yeah, exactly. He's eight years old, and he out here getting. Shoot, right? shoot, shooting for a dream. Just trying, to, just trying to make it happen either way, any way he can. Cookies That's it. Thing. Yes, sir. That's it, man. So we're going to touch on the young brother, man, doing big things. And also, we're going to touch on that big three. All right? Ice Cube's big three. Yes, sir. Um, three on three basketball, man. It's coming oh, back. Yeah. Season three coming back this summer. All right? They got the uh, the big three draft coming up also. So we're mm-hmm. going to touch on that because they got a lot of doggone former NBA cats, a lot of good talent in this talent pool for this draft pool for this summer. So we're going to go and check into that too, man. So talk to him, Cap. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hey, I really want to know. I can't wait to get to that big three thing. I'm trying to really see who all is watching it, who all tuning in to that thing. But that's going to be big. But jump off, man. Yeah, we was uh, down in at Atlanta, right? Um, Atlanta for the uh, NASCAR race. Had all three series down there. Um, actually did a back-to-back um, truck in Xfinity on uh, Saturday. Then finished up on uh, with the cup race on Sunday. But, um, you know, some of the highlights of being out there on the NASCAR schedule right there on, on that tour is um, being able to meet some of the celebrities that come out. You yes know what sir, I mean? Yes, yep. sir. Yes, and sir. I mean, I, hey, we've met a few in our, in our time being at the track, but this is uh, this is one of the, you know, this is definitely top top one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did my top one, yeah. and, uh, you know, as far as um, celebrities meeting and the uh, Miss Lisa Ray, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, yes. Oh man, yeah. we are gonna clap for man. The beautiful, the beautiful. The beautiful. I tell you, hey, the yeah. Dega season has started off great so far. Yes, Daytona yes. was good. Now Atlanta is good. Now we're going to Vegas. Hey, I can't wait to see who out there. Right, right. <laughs> Hey, Rich, what do you think, man? I know, because I know you, uh, you know, you got that hug in. Did you get a, did you get a hug? Man, you know I had to get that hug. <laughs> if, you, if you ain't getting that hug, man, you ain't doing it. I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm just trying to spread joy, man. Keep them smiles going. That's right. all. That's all. But hey, you, you, got hey, to. you gotta get that hug. Got I try to. to tell these boys all the you time. Got to. These boys don't want to listen. But <laughs> hey, you gotta get that good hug in. You know what I'm saying? I tell you what, hey, I made sure I got mine's in. <laughs> Had to. <laughs> the Richie Williams special. You dog all right, man. You <laughs> dog all right. Hey, but um one of you know, one of the um, you know, Lisa Ray, everybody knows uh Lisa Ray from playing Diamond and Players Club from back in the days. Yes. And um, you know, she yes. had um a few more few more movies uh, from then until now. Uh, her most recent, uh, I, well, as far as I know, most recent um, thing was um, The Proposal, the show The Proposal right. that she was on. Right. And, um, I mean, from what I hear, Lisa Ray's looking for love out there. You know what I mean? She's uh, just as, as many as guys that are, you know, willing to step up to the plate and um, be that man, that husband. Uh, that lover for um, she's still looking she ain't found the right one yet hey but I, Cap man yeah. like don't you think dudes dudes are, are pretty intimidated by her though cause she yo she's a powerful figure she is she you is know what man I'm saying? I, and, I mean, and her status man like I, I think a lot of dudes man they they, they get pushed away cause they ain't confident they yeah, ain't hey, confident enough what you think Odie hey that's a big part of it man just being confident I mean hey if you are not confident 
a woman, a woman about like her. Yeah, yeah. Man, she'll slide right on to the left. Huh. <laughs> slide <laughs> right on to the left. <laughs> but she, she want to feel safe and know that you know you're there for. I mean, yeah. If you, if 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 you've been insecure and you know all up in the business and you know, hey, right. She gonna mm-hmm. say, hey, go on here, player. And, and that's right about a, that. And and so what? What about that? Like you, you hit a good note. Um, if you insecure type of guy, um, you know, in it. If it affects her with her celeb status, you know, what do you think about the average relationship where, you know, I mean, where, where, where that insecurity, you know, flows heavy down down here where we at, Man. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. um, but I'm yeah. just saying like the, um, you know, with her being intimidating, you know, guys being intimidated by her status or where she's at is like. You know, the man is is supposed to be the provider um, in a relationship. You know, traditionally, um, the man's supposed to be the man, just supposed to be there, be solid, you know, solid foundation for his woman. But with her, it seems like she's got everything. Right. Do you think that maybe she herself could be a little hard, could be a little picky on, you know, what she wants in a man? Well, hell, well why the hell not? I mean, there's nothing yeah, wrong with it. You yeah, know? yeah, she, because like you said, she pretty much, she, She's got everything she needs. She's in a great situation. You know what I'm saying? She don't yep. need anybody for nothing. She's, you know what I'm saying? Very independent. Strong mm-hmm. black woman. Yep. But at the same time, uh, when you when you, when you you let that man, you allow that man to come into your life, you, you got to let that man be a man too. And I think that's that's a big thing. But that all boils down to which man is going to step up and actually have enough confidence to, to say, you know what? Let me be a man in this relationship. Hey, let's be honest. Enough confidence and enough money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, she, um, you know, um, watched one of the clips and she, you know, you know, quoting her, what she saying was like, if she builds the table, you know, why can't she have a man to um, bring the chairs to the table? Right. Or even, True. she even said, uh, if she builds the table and brings the chairs, why can't she have the man to set the table and put some food on the table? You know what I mean? So I see where she's coming from. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that just like, really, it just it kind of narrows it down to a certain few. That, that uh, is true, man. You know, that, that, to, to get there and, you know what I mean, and, and um, be that man for her. But I, I, I really feel like she's giving some of these guys chances and they just blowing it. You know yeah. what I mean? They just yeah, blowing it. Yeah, I agree. It. Uh, you can't be intimidated, but like, I don't. I don't see how you can be intimidated by a um, successful black woman um, that just knows what she wants, but that's just me. Yeah, that's just me, too. Like, I feel like if I had that, you know, I'm going to embrace it. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you might well. embrace it. Yeah, because you know, you know there's a lot of dudes out there that want that. Exactly, and, yeah. and it's a lot of dudes out there that got women that, that ain't got nothing or got anything going for themselves mm-hmm. that, right, right. you know, out there just doing it on their own, their own. So to actually have a woman... That's up here, and then you you could be somewhere here to here to here. You know, <laughs> you, you never know. But at the same time, you know, she brought something to the table. You brought something to the table. Now, you, now both of y'all can work together. But T, yeah. oh, T, she, she, what if she she's like Lisa Ray? She brought a hell of a lot more to the table than you. You know what I'm saying? How you how y'all how you how you gonna work that out? How you balance well, that out though? Well, see, mm. thing is. She got to know, you know, I'm I'm not financially on her level the way I can, you know, bring the same thing she bring. Right. But I'm going to bring other stuff. Like, yeah. I'm going to be there for her through anything, everything, no matter what it is. I'm going to be there. She need me. I'm there. Uh, she doing her uh, parents. I'm going to be there. You right. know, whatever whatever it is she need me to do, mm-hmm. I'm going to be there to do it. Hey, now check this out, though. You you don't think a, a female of her status, you know what I'm saying, uh, Movie star, whatnot, very popular, whatnot, uh, celebrity. You don't think, you know what I'm saying, she, she draws the line at some point, like, uh, he he really ain't on my level. Like, he got to get it together. You know what I'm saying? He's not financially yeah. on my level or something like that. Do you think, not just her, not just her, just speaking like females, uh, celebrities oh, yeah. in general, mm-hmm. you think that they draw the line at a certain point, like, yo, he need to be within, you know what I'm saying, I don't even know a certain dollar amount or whatever, because all this over our head. Oh, so, yeah, I agree. You know what I'm saying? You, right. you think they actually draw a line or put a, 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 a limit on how, I guess, how low they would go or whatever, or the gap between, you know what I'm saying, status? Oh, yeah, and, and uh, I totally agree with that, because look at it. 
you, you, you're, not, you, you're not gonna find Lisa Ray with somebody that, that doesn't kill five or six people. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna find her with it, you know. You know, she's she gonna be with the more you know upscale type right. type guy, whatnot. You know, yeah. guy that you know doing okay for himself. You know, right, right. right. Look nice, dress nice. So you she know? don't like no thug. Yeah, though. exactly. Yeah. Well, I don't know what she yeah, like. Yeah, but you yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, you, you, never, you know. never know. But yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, she's she not. She's not gonna go too low. You yeah. know, to where she gotta pretty much do everything, right. or you know, gotta watch her back, or mm -hmm. just never know what's gonna happen. I so guess. basically, she's not gonna have a um, one of those guys that just um, you know. While she's out working, is gonna sit at home. Is that piggybacking off of uh, playing she, Fortnite? You know, <laughs> <laughs> she piggybacking the whole time. Just chilling, you know what I'm saying? Um, which I have heard stories about, you know, guys like that. But um, <laughs> <laughs> true story, true story. Yeah, but you know, what I mean, but okay. So, I mean, really, what 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 kind of what kind of man does Lisa what Lisa Ray want? You know, matter of fact, not what she want. What what do you all think would be the perfect man for Lisa Ray at this at this time in her life man I don't, I don't know if you're gonna find the perfect one man you, yeah, you we, can you get you, close you can try like hell to get close um I'm gonna say they financially Cause, financially because I think already yeah. but I think already judging by the looks on her face you already like NASCAR pick crew guys you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> just by the smile on her face when she, she did have that smile yeah yeah that smile man and you can, and you yeah. can just feel that love too yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just, yeah she's just so passionate <laughs> yeah, just, hey, yeah. Just, Oh you man, just amazing. Feel it. Amazing. amazing. I'm gonna say me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say she looking for me. Hey, you know? That's all right. You never know, man. You never know, man. You never know. I think I think he would have to um not have you know, have something going but not you know, just be a millionaire. Yeah. But I think he would just have to still have that ambition to um, you know, wanna be better, wanna keep on, you know, kinda like be a a teammate. Cause yeah, you know she yeah. grinding, she's still grinding. You know she says she got a lot of projects coming up, yeah. and it sounds like she that's what she does, like just works, works, works. Um, so I think that that guy would have to be right on that level and yeah. just want to, you know, keep on going in, in that direction, keep on going up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. Tig, Tig, we'll, we'll put your uh, name in the hat. I know. <laughs> Shake that hat up. <laughs> Next time they do the proposal, too, you know what I mean? We'll put your name I'm in the in hat. They, then, yeah, I'm in All the way there. Hey, we're going <laughs> to put Tig's name in the hat about 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we pull him out. We pull him out. Hey, but now, Cap, to touch on that, man, like a dude come to the table, you know what I'm saying, to, to pull his own weight. Yeah. Um, it, it's kind of, it's kind of. I'm going to give an example. It's kind of vice versa or whatever, but... uh. You you look back at at the family hustle thing like uh, Ti Ti and Tiny. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Both of them hustling. Right. You know what I'm saying. Both of them bringing a lot to the table, and that's that's probably what you need when you got that status. You need somebody that's gonna hustle hard as you. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying. They might not make as much as you, but right. be have your worth. But you know what I'm saying. At the end of the day, both of y'all are grinding, hustling, working towards that next level together. Yep. Got gotcha. you. Build, gotcha. Building a whole empire together. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, that sound, man. That sound good. That sound good. Well, that well, I, um, you know, with with that, you know, speaking of hustle, you know, and grind, we mentioned, uh, you know, we met another young young celeb, up and coming, uh, you know, uh, not up and coming entrepreneur, already an entrepreneur, the Cookie King. Yes, oh, yes, yes. The yes. Cookie King. I tell you Mr. what, you Mr. know, Jaden Baker, the Jaden Baker, man. Hey, if you're on Instagram, go follow this kid. Jaden Baker, man, it's yep, called, the he's cookie the cookie king. king, the cookie king, man, like eight years old, he's out here hustling, man, he has dreams uh, and aspirations to be a NASCAR driver, yep. and so he can try to fund his uh, career, this kid is making his own cookies and going out and selling them, he's yeah. going into barber shops, businesses, all kind of things, and he's personally delivering and selling these cookies, man, and it's, uh, it's inspirational, man. Inspirational, oh, man. Yeah, very. Inspirational. It, no excuses. If you... um got any kind of business ideas or you know any ventures no excuse eight years old getting out there and he's not selling cookies to just to make money and, and, and no he's selling cookies to make to fund his dream and that's to get on you know be on the track he's currently um driving go-karts and his business is you know funding that uh his, his ride you know his seat time in, oh, yeah. in those go-karts and also his uh story is what um, got him the opportunity to be at the track over the weekend. Um, 
I couldn't, you know, that, my hat's off to him. That that was just one amazing story to, to, to hear. You get to talk to him, T. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, I talked to him about for a good three, four, five minutes or whatnot. Yeah. Uh, talked to him and his mom, which who, who also uh, helps him out a good bit with making his cookies. Mm -hmm. And uh, just talking to them, man, he seems like so passionate about being a NASCAR driver. And, you know, for him to have that much passion and drive to actually go out and start baking cookies. Yeah. Man, you know, that that says, says a lot about him. Um and big ups to him because you know most people would just say, "Hey, I want to, I want to become a NASCAR driver," mm -hmm. and not put yourself in a position, or at least try to put yourself in a position to have those dreams come true. Right. Which is, like I said, big ups to him for that because, hey, a lot of people would not have done it. Jay the man, big ups to you, and everybody go follow him and. You can't help him out. Go, go, go buy his cookies. Yeah. I'm telling you, hey, I like him because, you know, he got, he got great taste in cars. You know, yeah. even though <laughs> it wasn't a Mustang update, he had a Lamborghini. And he said, you oh, know, nice. yeah. he, he want to eventually buy a Lambo. So, man. I just want, but I want to do. He got great taste in cookies. We didn't get no cookies. I know, yeah, man. Yeah. I asked him. I, 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 I did ask you him. I was like, too? hey, man, where, hey, man, where, 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 where the cookies at? I told him to bring it. I said, if you, hey, we'd have bought boxes well, of them. Well, who things. you telling, man? You yeah. come to the trap with some cookies, boy. You the hey, soul. Right. Hey, hey, but check this out, though. When y'all was eight years old, what y'all was thinking about doing? Hey, I was playing with G.I. Joe's, <laughs> man. Like, I was, I was imagining, like, you know what I mean, um, little ninjas jumping off uh, in the woods, you know what I mean? We was going to war back there. Man, Transformers. Stop, man, yeah, stop. Hey, to war back there. Tig looking at you like, what the hell is a G.I. Joe, you <laughs> know? Yeah, I forgot. Man, you know, hey, we had a G.I. Joe. Here, man. Man. He know what the hell a G.I. Joe I mean, is, I, 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 I know what it is, but, you know, we ain't had those, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, I was out there in that farm. My ears were chopping wood. Oh, so shit. That was that on my uh, farm. Oh, that's that South Carolina hey, life, man. man. I, hey, I always get a, get a bicycle every Christmas, man. Have about two weeks of this broke. And tear it up. Tear it up. But, but you know you out there in the country. So jump you, around. I'm about to say, <laughs> bro, you in the country, you get that bike, first thing you do, you find something to jump. Boy. I'm trying to tell you, we made a ramp one time. I ain't going to lie to you. We made a ramp. You go down, you know how you go down to the ditch. You know in the country, you got the oh, ditch. Yeah. And then all the driveways, you can ride up that yeah. joint because you got the drain to go underneath. Man, I'm man. I I hauled man. I was hauling that one time. I jumped this damn driveway, and I jumped it at an angle. And my dog, I came down. My handlebar got caught in the oh, fence. Yeah. It was a fence right there, yeah. man. I'm talking, boy. You talking about something hurt? But they slammed me y'all. Golly, hey, my bike tire bust. My my rim was warped. And you know you can't go home and say, man, daddy, hey, uh. I mean, I broke my bike, man. Yeah, because you wouldn't, because one, you wouldn't sell enough cookies to pay for that bike. <laughs> exactly. That you broke, you know what I mean? You just, and, hey, and, go, and what happens? You get hurt, what they do? They brush it off, get brush back it outside. Off. You, yeah, got a, back you got a broke arm. They say, boy, you been going back uh, outside. Now everybody runs straight to the hospital. Yeah, Quit. I'm under, mm -hmm. You can't lift your arm up. You better go on back out there. <laughs> but I, ste I stepped on a nail one time building a clubhouse. <laughs> Grandma, grandma, <laughs> grandma rubbed some kerosene and some uh, <laughs> some snuff snuff spit on. Yep. It. Yep. Told me get out, said get back outside. Oh, I'm shoot. talking about. Nail went through the shoe, through halfway everything. in my foot. Hobbled in there and hobbled back outside. The <laughs> no, man. You know, yeah, oh, gas in it. Yeah, that's the old yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kerosene. Hey, that's that John Rambo so, of so kerosene right and snuff spit. Oh, Should throw an uh, old uh, spider web on that thing and get a spider web. Oh, yeah, an yeah, old car web from up top of the thing. Man. And put, yeah, it, and put it in the put on the thing. On the cut. Put on the cut, wrap it up. Oh, man. I'm telling you. That's right there. I'm telling you. What the hell? I ain't never heard of that before. I'm telling you. Wrap it up. Well, Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider Man. <laughs> Spider -Man. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, it, it, hey, it'll, heal it, it'll heal it up. What? So, tell him. Hey, that's crazy. So, what, like, eight year old, you know what I mean? His passion, like it says, um, you know, driving a go kart, you know, you got the parents. That's all to the parents for, like, getting oh, real. Yeah. You know, they for had real. a lot to do it in the background of it, making them, you know, kind of giving them something to work for and to fund, you know, his dream. Mm -hmm. But how to, like, to me, and as as coaches, like how is it to reach these kids at that young of an age to get them, you know, to sell them on that idea? How how, how do you how you think you can go about doing that? Yeah, that's actually pretty interesting because, like, like you said, most kids are not out here selling cookies to uh, in order to chase a dream. Mm -hmm. I mean, right? Or in, or either doing like anything to to chase chase a dream. I mean, for me, uh, I start I, I started working. Uh, 
my freshman year of high school, like he is eight years old. Like yeah, he's already yeah, yeah. got his own business. Yeah. Like that that is amazing. Mm-hmm. Um and like I said, it's not too many kids that that would actually that actually want to work. So right. yeah. how do you get them to see this young fella, eight years old, out here chasing a dream? How do, how do you get your kid to want to do the same? Man, I, I, it, it, like you said, it, it's got to come from the parents, and yeah. I think I think the parents have to have that same vision of the bigger picture. You know what I'm saying? Right. That the kid has. You know what I'm saying? They they see they got to see the kid's dream, but they just got to be able to help that kid visualize how to get to that dream. And I okay. think that's what a, yeah. that's what uh, Jaden's parents come in and whatnot. His mom's man, and um, that's the big thing. You gotta you gotta change the mindset. It's got to be a mindset. And yeah. If, if the if the kids parents don't have that mindset to say okay my kids wants to do x y and z you know what i'm saying how can i help he or she get there they mm-hmm. got to help put that vision in that kid and help push that kid to that vision but most of the time nowadays <clears throat> oh yeah they hear a dream or uh, 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 hear what the kids want to do or whatever or let's just let, let's even let's not even go to a dream or what the kid want to do let's say a kid i want a playstation mm-hmm. most of them go out and just get it Instead yeah. of how about you you work for this work or for give it. or write you. out me a business proposition of how you going to you know what I'm saying make money to get to get True. this PlayStation you know what I'm saying so I think that it starts with the parents you got to break it down in a different way and you start giving them tidbits of of business you know what I'm saying business ideas or just putting them in that business uh sense of mind when they're young that's like with my daughters like my oldest daughter she's already she has a a, a business already it's, it's not real but she made it up. And it's called Jot Dot. She wants to sell like children's sports accessories. That's her thing. You know what I'm saying? But just she's nine and she's already thinking about that. You know what I'm saying? Already. You know what I'm saying? So when she gets, to, let's say, 12, 13, 14 years old, she may have her own business by then right now. But you know what I'm saying? Just trying to instill that that mindset in them right now to set them up for the future, man. Because uh, I know y'all can hit on this. Y'all started working early just like I did. Um like our parents, you know what I'm saying? Only thing they, they really taught us, you go and get a job just to make money. So basically you just go on, you trading your time for money. You're going to work for somebody yep. else. And right. you know what they say. Right. If you're working for somebody else, you're just helping that person achieve their dreams. Yep. Yeah. Working you know for somebody else's so, dreams. So, yep. Yeah, man. Yeah, but y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. Hey, Rich, go ahead and cue that uh, intro music up real quick because it's halftime, baby. And if you want to get your kids up and off of that video game, you got to instill that in their mind. You got to instill that in mind to work. You know, go for it, shoot for it, give them something to work for. And if you can't do it, just hit up my man Richie. Get your kids rich, Williams. And, uh, <laughs> he like going to make it happen. Let's go. Like he going to make it gotta happen eat. for real. All right? Got to eat. Let's go, man. We'll see y'all back in a little bit with some more topics to talk about. The yes, lecture sir. hall, baby. Lecture, lecture hall. hall. Yeah, back at it. Second half of this game, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. We're getting ready Let to do it. Hold. Speaking of that, speaking of halftime, you know, we just got back. We just uh, discussed that big three. The big three. Shout out big to Ice three. Cube, boy. Hey, doing yeah, it. Exactly. Doing it. Hey. What you got for us? What hey, you got man, for come us, on, man? Yeah, you know so what I mean? Gonna, uh, let me bring the beat down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to, man, we're going to talk about this big three. Like, my. Myself personally, man, like I was a big fan even when they first started talking about the big three or whatever, man. I know a lot of cats I was talking to, man, it ain't going to do nothing. It ain't going to be nothing but a bunch of washed up cats who used to play or whatever. And because didn't somebody else try to do a three-man tournament or something back in the day? It seemed like somebody had been trying to kick it off before yeah, he actually did so. it. But uh, I think, man, Q, he came right, man. Because it's came, Ice Cube, man. It's Ice Cube. Exactly. You know what, as a matter of exactly. fact, Ice Cube, Ice Cube the one that gave us Lisa. Yes, club. Yes. He did. He did. Th- uh, thank you, Q. Oh man. Thank you. <laughs> oh man. Thank you. Hey, just, hey, just, th- just thought of that, man. Yeah, exactly. This just came to me. Oh man, my God. you can't beat See, that. You can't beat it. But yeah, he came right. He came correct, man. He uh, he got he has hell of uh coaches, man. Yeah. The player, the talent pool has just been getting better and better every year. So now it's working on it's the, it's year three. Season three, man, and um, season three, yo, it's a lot of big names that's going into this uh big three this summer. 
uh, for the summer draft or whatnot, man. First, let, uh, let's stop. Let's stop. we're gonna talk about a, a, a just a couple of the big names right now. My hey, this is one of my favorites right here, <laughs> yo, because he he kind of old school nitty gritty player. You know what I'm saying? My man, Big Kendrick Perkins, man, played KP. with the Celtics. You know what I'm saying? Played yeah. with the Thunder for a little bit also, but dog, that's the he, he's a throwback to the original oh, yeah. big man. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like it too because you know, yeah. hey, he he played he played tough down yes, there. Yes, tough. It's gonna get a little physical. Tough man. And you know, for for the guys that are like just fresh out, that you know can't that never seen a big man play like that. Yeah. Oh, is it? It's gonna get a little nasty. I'm gonna tune in. I'm telling. I'm gonna tune in. I might be a big fan of the big three. Dumb. See, like I'm a, you know, I mean, I play sports and stuff, and uh, you know, in school and whatnot. But I'm not like a, a big stats guy, you know what I'm saying? Like with names, and it's just hard for me to remember stuff like that. But three on three, you know, it's, it makes it easier for yeah. me to get in. You know what I mean? I can be a basketball guy now and throw you all these names. You know what I mean? Like these teams, these teams, like they, they really resonate with me. You know, the three-headed monsters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Three, three's <laughs> company, you know? The, look, aliens. The aliens. The, the ball hogs, you know what I mean? I can't even pronounce that. What's this? Oh, that's a new one, man. That's what they they just uh, they got just some expanded. Ants and ants uh, yeah. dribbling basketball. <laughs> that's I, three I, ants. I, how do you say it? How do you say that though, man? That's a great question. I ain't really gonna mess it up. O V A C. I don't know. I'm not gonna mess it up. We go to the next one, man. The enemies. <laughs> the enemies. The enemies. The enemies. The enemies. <laughs> uh, ghost ballers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, killer threes. I like that. Power. Tri-State Trilogy The Triplets the Triplets Man Now those are names That I can remember Yeah I, I can yeah. I can You know I can Yeah I can definitely Relate to these hey, those, uh, This big three And those, those sound like The names you used to Play back in the day On uh, <laughs> NBA Live <laughs> Yeah And uh, yeah. You, you can make up Your team Oh yeah You know what I'm saying you, You'll name it Something like that Name it something like that, man. Or, the or, like, or like that game, Arch Rivals. Oh, they, what y'all know about Arch Rivals? Well, yeah. hold on, hold on. Once again, <laughs> that might be hey, that before hey, Tig. Oh, hey, I'm, always, I'm always dropping something. That's you before know, something Tig, man. Tig don't know what the hell Arch Rivals is. Cap, tell that man what Arch Rivals is, man, before we move on. Man, Arch Rivals. Yeah, let me know. talking about some fights. Is just straight out. I just remember the fights, man. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember the fights and it, was, it wasn't that when it was uh, you get the fire you get on fire. Yeah, he, he's he. No, up? no, no. That's oh, that NBA was a, jam. That's, that's NBA that, jam. Yeah, okay, okay, I know that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's NBA I know jam. That. jam. A whoop dee doo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I but, know but, how. Yeah. The arch rivals used to. You play that in the in the arcade, T. Yeah, you played in the arcade. Oh, in the arcade, you know what I'm saying? Stick. You put a, hey, you put a quarter in there. <laughs> you put a quarter. Hey, all you had, tell him, Cap, you had a joystick <laughs> and you had two buttons. Yeah, you either had pass or shoot. That's all you had. That's it. They gonna dribble. For yeah, you, yeah, uh, it, it, it wasn't no, it wasn't no dribble. Uh, the, uh, the oh, thing. Man. Oh, man. Oh, no, no, let's go back further than Arch Rivals, man. Double, <laughs> double dribble. dribble. Hey, <laughs> boy, I'm talking, ta- boy. That's the slowest basketball yeah. game ever played. But it, that's all you had, though. Pass or shoot. That's it. Hey, that's how these games need to be right now. <laughs> Pass or shoot. Don't be doing all that extra, Stop. all that extra. Hey, stuff, we gotta do you rolls, man. No, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. No, that's walking. Pass that's walking. walking. <laughs> that's walking. Put put some codes in before you go. You there know, you man. Go. Put that, hey, put that contra code in. Get some extra lives. Yeah, extra lives on it. <laughs> <laughs> Pass or shoot. That's what, hey, that's what you need. Hey, one of these teams. I'm just gonna go ahead. Look, I don't even know what region these teams are. I haven't really. Really done my research on the big three. We 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 but, trying to get Cap on board with that yeah, big yeah, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna get him um, on board with that big three, man. man. I'm just gonna go, man. Like one of my favorite albums back in the day was um, Outkast, the uh, AT Aliens. AT Aliens. So I'm gonna go with the Aliens, man. Am yeah, I, that's I'm gonna a be your sci- squad. Yeah, I'm a sci-fi guy, man. So who who play for the Aliens, man? Who, who's on that squad, go ahead, man? Go I'm gonna go with them. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the Aliens, man. Now they, uh, I think they expansion. I think they expansion, right? What? They're one of the newer teams. They just, just want to know. Yeah, they just expanded. Oh, so, so we drafted now. I about yeah. to say, I about to say, draft it happened yet? So yeah, no, we, it's it's in uh, it's coming up in uh, early summer, I think. Well, I'm be alien maybe spring. Fan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe, 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 maybe alien hey, 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 no matter no no matter who up there, you hey, cat me, you with them, man. Yeah, I'm with them. You with them? Yeah. Okay. All right, so hey, check, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Now this, I don't know about this one, y'all. I don't know about this one. He, hey. Greg Oden. Oh, Greg oh, Oden. Hey, not Dred. Undred. Greg. Undred's a free agent. Hey. Greg, I, hey, uh, what's the over under? How many games he played before he get hurt? What's man. the over under? Man. I get that man one game. So he, he said, yo. <laughs> so he's in the draft pool. Yeah. Oh, so Greg so, he, so it's a possibility he might be on the aliens. 
It's a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> hey, possibility. It's, hey. it's a possibility, man. Dog. Man, we'll take Greg, man. He a big, he, you know, I mean, big presence down. Oh, man, let me let, hey. let, let me find some cap. Let me find some. Let me hold on. You you stay right there. I'm about to find. Hey, let's find out how many games Odin even played in the league before he got hurt. All right, all right that's got, it. Because uh, because that because you say y'all gonna draft him on the aliens, right? So is it uh, so this gameplay is it like uh, is it make it take it? No, it's, it's not make it take it. Not make it take so it. So like, you, know you change possession. So when it hit the rim, do you got to dribble it back past the three point line? Yeah, you have you have to take it back. It's just like normal three. Just like yeah, three. That's what I'm saying. You're going over the old yep. um, backyard back. three on three rules. Yep, yep. You got to take it back. But also, I, I don't know if you know, mm. they got a four point shot. Oh really? Four, four point, point shot. Four point. You ain't shot. know that either, Nah. I, well, yeah. so there's no. So there's. A I read something about it, but I ain't really. Yeah. So you got your normal three point line. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Boom. That's what. Was that? Twenty three foot. Twenty five foot. I ain't a big basketball man. But it's somewhere it's, it's it's out of my range. <laughs> yeah. And then you got even more out of my range was the four point the four shot. Point the shot. Four and, point shot. And uh, bro, they be back. They fire that, that thing and up. And, 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 and that's pretty much half court. Sound like. uh, almost. And they be firing it up. Well, hey, I didn't. I don't know. I watched my Stephen Jackson. He be firing it up from back there. Catino Mobile the, uh, be firing it up from back there, man. What's the what's the, uh, what's the going rate for a contract um, uh, sign on this big three? Because you know if they bring an old Greg Oden out, like what, what's he gonna be making if he gets in, you know gets drafted? It's a uh, it's a hundred grand, right? Hundred grand, a hundred grand to just sign. to be on yeah. the team. Hundred grand on the team, and then mm. I think they got bonuses as uh as you win or you go. You know what I'm saying? As the team does better and better and better, and better. So, right? Yeah, man. All right, so check this out, man. Greg Oden was selected what first overall in 2007. You know what I'm saying? But then in 07. He missed the entire NBA season. <laughs> <laughs> so, man. So, Cap. Hey. Cap. Cap. My man had it wrong. <laughs> he had it wrong. Man. Hey, man. Hey, it happens sometimes. Man, man. man. Hey, had a rough season. What you mean, T? He ain't have no season. He ain't had no season. He didn't have no season. He didn't have no season. He didn't have no season. What you talking about? He had a rough season. He first game. That man didn't even have no off season. Talking about the season. He said the side of Marlins was just too good. Oh, Lord. Man, that's crazy. Man. Hey, man. Yeah, we got to get off Greg. Yeah, yeah. He just, man. He just trying to make a living. Oh, shit. Man, that's crazy. He saved his body. Hey, now check this out, no. Check this out. Agent Zero, Gilbert Arenas. Now, I know y'all remember Gilbert Arenas, man. Yep, Gilbert Washington Arenas. Washington Wizards, man. Yo, now he's a baller. He's aggressive, yo. I think he gonna bring he gonna bring that uh big three to another level this summer, man. Mm-hmm. What, what, what y'all think about that? Gilbert. Now, get off that man's name, now. I'm just saying, man, like, this is, you know what I mean, this is, I don't, I don't want to skip over Gilbert because <laughs> I heard Lamar I heard Lamar Odom is uh, in the draft. Oh, and that, that, man. you know, man, I'm gonna pass on uh, on Gilbert. You go, so we're gonna leave. Gonna, we're gonna go to yeah, Lamar. Let's go to Lamar. I'm gonna pass on Gilbert, and uh, I think I'm gonna go for uh, Lamar Odom just because you know being with the Lakers, right? You know, it, it just to me it is it just shows you you know how to you know you, you know how to play some ball. But but, but Lamar had been through some things. Yeah, that's what that's what I mean. That means he's gonna bring passion. He's gonna bring passion to the aliens, man. You, you, how the hell you figure he gonna go to the aliens? <laughs> Lamar, Lamar's gonna you bring can, passion to the aliens. Oh, this man think every new <laughs> player hey, going to the aliens. Already. I'm telling you, I'm, hey, I'm you working on my have, team. You, I already said that's my team. Cap, the aliens, Cap, you, know what I mean? you can only have about five people on there and one reserve now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can't. So, you didn't draft the eight people. And why, why we just here? <laughs> Except Gilbert. Uh, Gilbert. <laughs> Why you hating on Agent Zero, hey, man? Hey, Cam, I tell you what, man. You know, you said you, you you got the aliens. Yeah. Now, back in the day, Wu Tang was my group. Oh, you know, don't get the bees. Don't so, hey, the bees. I'm going with the, <laughs> the with the three, the, the three, the three, the three, the big three, the killer three, killer three, killer three. But, killer hey, three. Like hey, they weren't bad last year though. They weren't bad, man. Hey, I won with them this year. They weren't bad. This killer three. What was their team? What was their team uh, uh, last year? Let's see, man. Killer three. That's with uh Steven Jackson and them, man. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hey, right. look, Mr. Big Shot. 
You know what I'm saying? Chauncey bu- 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 Billups. Oops. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was the captain. You got Steven Jackson, you know what I'm saying? Co captain. Oh, hey, no. No. Meta no, no. World. Meta World. Hey, Meta World. Meta World. That means, <laughs> man, that means <laughs> a fight gonna break out. I'm gonna be ready watching it. Oh, oh yeah. Man. Hey, these my boys here. Yo, he ain't fighting Meta nobody. World. That's a previous oh. life. He had changed his <laughs> yeah, life. That man had changed his life. Hey, hey, that means he a ticket time, man. Somebody gonna buy it. No, he made it through all last year. Ain't fought nobody. Ain't fought nobody, man. Hey, hey, it's hey, a new year. But look who we got. Look who else we got. We got Josh Powell. Look where he from. Uh, oh, South okay. Carolina. Hey, see, see, they South Carolina. Yeah, I'm, I'm on. South Carolina. Hey, South I'm Carolina. on board. I like that. I'm on board. You know what Killer what I'm saying? threes. Killer three and hey, and, I'm bi- hey, we building the, hey, we building these uh, aliens from scratch though, bro. We building these aliens from scratch. <laughs> from scratch. <laughs> now you know, Cap. You know you only get you only get a couple picks now. Yeah. So you, we got Lamar Odom. How the hell? You? That's that's what we drafting uh, so, first. So you sending you sending out word to the, to the aliens right yeah, now we, that they need to get me. LO. That's what we got. Yeah, hey. tell me. That's hey. what we got. But check it. We got Lamar. You show, hey, now he get back in that spotlight, <laughs> man. You you think he gonna make it? He'll make it. He be a. Hey. Long as he lead them girls along, we need to you know what. I need to find out what what we're gonna be at. Let me find out the um you know the the region where we're gonna be at. So right. I know he ain't gonna ain't gonna be able to. Uh, you know, partake in a lot of but, the, um, but 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 that you know the big three travel. They go from city to city. Yeah, city, city, state to state. Yeah. So how, how man? I mean, but, you gonna but have somebody only, travel with him? But that's what I'm saying. It's like you said. It's like five. He only got a little bit of influences, in, 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 you know, around him, man. You know what I'm saying? He's got. But keep the circle small. You're right. But all you need is that one. He gonna be all right. We got Lamar Odom first. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we got. Oh, uh, that one. We got. We got Lamar Odom first. Oh, first pick. Hey. hey, all right. So check this out, though. Check this out. My team, Ghost Ballers. Okay, y'all ready for it? Ghost Ballers. Who you Ghost got? Ballers. Who Mike you Bibby. Yeah, you, okay. you can't. You can't talk to him about Mike Bibby. Ricky Davis. He mm-hmm. go hard in the paint. Okay. You got Booz Carlos Boozer. Right. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Thirteen NBA seasons, yo. As, Thirteen. As, that that mean that mean he all washed up, no? No, he ain't. He no, still he got gas in the tank. No, he done. He got gas in the tank. He done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, big Ivan Johnson. Now, nah, hey. nah, nah. Two seasons a year here. Yeah. Hey, he, hey, he free. Hey, he free. He he free. He look old. He like somebody <laughs> uncle, but hey, <laughs> I seen him play. He's strong. He's strong down there in the paint. M- Mister Jones. M- hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got Marcus Banks and, and Mario West. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but but look who coaching them though. Okay. The oh, GOAT. Okay. Coach. The okay. GOAT. George. Iceman. Gervin. Hey, now he ain't dunked too much, but you know one thing he could do was finger roll. Fing- finger roll. He hey, finger, finger roll. Finger roll. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah that's hey. my favorite. My, the, the finger roll. I'm trying to tell you, that's where it was at. That's man. where it's at, man. Well, me, I play shoot on a on a double rim, so finger roll ain't never worked. Oh, work that double rim, man. man. Hey. Hey, ain't no work for me. You talk about that double rim. You can't hit nothing on that Hell double nah. rim. Hell no. That thing, hey, either it's Bang. all net or that thing ain't exactly. going in. So Bang. fang roll ain't, ain't, ain't never work for me. Hey, and you got you to gotta tell folks, if, if if somebody tell you they ain't never played on no double rim, they ain't never they ain't played never outside play no park, yeah, no way. Exactly. I don't care if it was New York or yeah. damn South Carolina. Anywhere in between. If you went to a park oh, growing up in rim. the eighties or nineties, yeah. that whole gonna be a double rim now. Yeah, that double rim is something serious, man. So what so what do you what do you what would you rather have at the park? The double rim or a regular rim with no net? Oh mm, man. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. You don't have you don't play it on both. Oh yeah. Man. God, the thing me. is, the rim with, like, say, no net. Whenever you shoot a three with <laughs> nothing but you net, no, yeah, you the know. ball, the ball just shoot on, <laughs> it shoot on pass. And it's and you, 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 somebody gotta go get it. Somebody gotta go get it. Uh, <laughs> gotta go oh, chase man. it. You gotta go. Hey, 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 get the ball. But it, then sometimes you don't even know if it wins. Yeah, exactly. You know, I'm like, you know, <laughs> you know, I made it. Nah, hey, hey, nah, you yeah. been. And then if you if if your neighborhood was like mine out in the country, if that thing go off the off the court, you're liable to go into some briars. Or yeah, something. exactly. And Brides. now you digging the damn ball exactly. out the bride. Got to fight ant, ant beds and shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, give me the net. Just give we me a double a, rim with a net. Yeah, man. we had a uh, we had a court in Morrison. Um, shout out to the height, but the creek, as the years is going, as we aged, the creek was just sinking. So eventually, the um, the cliff on the creek made it to like the corner of the court and it just start bringing the court in. <laughs> you know, wow. so if you shot from that one side and you um, you know, like you said, no net, you hit that, you hit that thing just right. 
the ball was in the creek. Gone. Yeah, somebody had you – know, you know what I mean? Like I said, I, I, you know, I was okay. I was a defensive guy, you know, balling back then. So I was usually had the guy to jump in the creek and get the ball. <laughs> and, um, you know, that, tra- that traumatized my basketball career right there, you know, playing at the hike. Shout out to the hike. You know oh, I mean? that's, shoot. That's back in the days, up, that, that, was, that, was the, that was the parking hood, man. But um, eventually got torn down, you know what I'm saying? But just, just reminiscing on that. Yeah, that, man. Yeah. So, Cap, Yo, Odie. We're oh, going yep. to stay on this basketball tip, man. We're going to jump from the big three mm-hmm. over over to some shoes, some basketball shoes. Like, my homeboy hit me up today, sent me a picture. Man, you know I had to get these. The dog on the Jordan 6s. Oh, man. But on the, the jump, Jordan, man. Jordan 6s, man. Uh, the, the the black and infrared. Ooh. Right? Now, now, what year is it? It's 2019, right? Yep. Jordan and sixes. the sixes first came out in 1991. I don't even think Tig was born yet. No, I was born. I was yeah, born. born. When were you born, Tig? 90. Golly. Oh, man. The man barely beat the shoes here. <laughs> yeah, man. Tig, ba- <laughs> Tig <laughs> barely beat the damn shoes to earth, man. Oh, and man. here it is, damn near 30 years later. And That's they, crazy. And, and my man Mike still selling the same shoes, boy. Not Mike. the same price, though. But they, my man, my homeboy said he got them thing for two hundred. Hey, now. you know, two hundred. You know why? Oh, just speaking. You know why I think Mike keeps bringing back those um, early edition shoes? What's that? He trying to get all his money back. Nike took from him when that, they first, true. first released them shoes. That's that true. That's right true. About it. Hey, we need a hey, we need a ding ding for that. You know, I'm what something, man. Ring the yeah. bell. Yeah, Mike getting his money. That's why. He, that's why last time we was talking when we did it. You know, we did a, a little practice run his podcast. We talked about the money. That's why LeBron, you know, he's worth he worth four hundred, four hundred million, million. And that's why Mike is worth one point eight, one billion, billion, billion. B, capital B. B. B, yeah, capital B, yeah, capital, that capital B. B. So he getting his money back. He, that, hey, this man's smart. That do make sense, man, because you done sold the same shoe to to the three, same people hey, to three different generations, <laughs> and the first generation still buying them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Which is uh, us. Man. Like, like, not me personally. That, I'm past my Jordan stage, but I didn't have them. Yeah. But, uh, hey, I, not me. I, I ain't mad at I ain't, it. I ain't, I ain't never had no Jordans until I was uh, 38 when I bought my first pair of Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, I had some hand-me-downs. Shout out to my cousin. He he gave me those Space Jam editions back yeah. in the day. You know, the straps a little worn out on them. But, hey, that was my, that was my pair of Jordans, man. But They were still real. They still real. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, hey, what's yeah. the retail so, going on these Yeah, what's now? that? Yeah. Um, so, so, so how much did your homeboy pay for? Yeah, he said 200 200 So, I'm guessing they were 199 99 <laughs> So, with $200 worth of tax, they probably came out about 230 Probably came out about 230 You know what I'm saying? Now, now, now Odie. I know you a now, shoe guy. You a shoe oh yeah. guy. Oh yeah. You know, I love, guy. Oh yeah. Hey, I love now, my shoes. Now. Tig, Tig got more shoes than everybody at at, at the damn job put together. <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. And uh, now, now, Odie, now, right now, since you are you went through your strong shoe phase, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. right now, would you go out and pay two hundred dollars for a pair of J's? Oh man, it's tough, man. Uh, whenever I brought my shoes in 2014, 15, something in 13. The Jordans were going for 160. Right. Mm. So from 160 to 200, Boy, retail 40, price. That $40 yeah. hell, eh? Yeah, that, that $40 Dang, some, 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 some serious. Did Cap, you get, oh, man, those Cap, are tough. Captain pulled up some, some infrared, infrared 23 sixes. sixes. Them, them thing, boy, they like them they, boy, they can't fit for Mars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them thing <laughs> <Yeah, see, laughs> that moves. See, I paid 160 for those. Yeah. Huh? No, but you ain't going to get them for 160. <laughs> exactly. Them thing probably. I'm about to say, two, those, 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 those they're going to be exclusive. He got, he got the black right here, the original color. Oh, so they're going to be the, the black with the infrared. Okay. Yep, that, right there. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. I ain't going to lie, though. No. Hey, them thing clean. Oh, they got that little suede uh, material. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. yeah. remember that. They clean, but I ain't going to touch them. Man. Yeah. I, I ain't think... going to touch them. Man, two, 200 tough for, for, shoe for a pair of shoes, That's though, tough. man. man. Bro, you know, you know so how many I... pair of Adidas I can get? <laughs> exactly. I can go exactly. get three, three pair, probably three and a half pair. <laughs> three and a half. So, 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 my last pair of shoes was a pair of Adidas. Yeah. And uh, I paid $80 tops. There you I go. I want to say for them. I want to say, and they were on clearance, so uh, could have been less than it. <laughs> hey, ain't nothing wrong with that, though. Hey, if you really want to, shoes. if you really want to save money on shoes, holler at your boy Cap. You know what I mean? Go, go find them Voits. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, um, 
Find them Voights, man. You save a lot of money. They look, hey, they look good. They got all the features that all the, the Jordans and new shoes got too. So there's your there's your dollar saving uh tip for the tip for the day. You hey, hey, you mess around and get them Voights if you want. You gonna end up like Zion. Just like them Zion. Oh, man, them Just Zion. like them Zion. Oh yeah, hey, 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 like Zion did had them week. Zion had them big day. He had, he had the big the big Nike, man. Big Nike. Oh shit. They so. wasn't what it was, man. They was used to making these um, you know, making shoes for these the play like the game changed up, right? So they used to making these shoes for these three point shooters, you know what I mean? Ain't nobody been down low like that in a while. Man. <laughs> yeah, Ain't nobody yeah. been banging like that for a while. Let's be honest. But um, you know, big guy like Zion. <laughs> what do you say? They couldn't handle that torque. Couldn't man. handle that torque. Have that torque. <laughs> hey, Big Zion was six seven two eighty. Mm. Boy, that's a whole lot of. Hey, that's a, a whole lot, lot of, of man yeah. movement right there. That's boy. a lot of lateral load, bro. Man. And he ain't slow either. I'm telling you, he hey, ain't slow. He ain't slow. It's like a. Uh, it's like a just relate to it. You know what I mean? It's like that camera at uh, like uh, at a uh, Bristol track. You know what I mean? When them cars coming around. Them now hold on, Cap. You got you got to stop. You got to explain to some. Over. You got to explain to some of the folk. Yeah. What, what camber is because they lost they lost oh, a yeah. right now camber is when it you know if, when you look at Zion's foot when it bust <laughs> right before it busted through the shoe and his ankle you know his leg was like 90 degrees and his shoe was still you know locked into the uh, surface and camber is that that moment right before the, the breakthrough you know what I mean that's how those cars are going around the track like that that's what the tires look like and they just it just wasn't ready for it but oh, um, hell no it wasn't ready I think to be honest I think it's gonna work out good. For, I think Nike's gonna uh, cut him a check, you know, after after college. I think, oh yeah, I different. think Nike's gonna cut him a check, get him a get him a uh, nice nice shoe deal if he wants. But it. but yeah, you gotta think about it. He gonna be competing with Nike. Gonna be competing with oh, Under Armour, all of them. Reebok they, they, and they Adidas. Oh all yeah. Them, like if I was like Reebok or Adidas, you know, the first thing I say was like, I'll do is just show him a picture of his foot blowing out the shoe. <laughs> and be like, listen, <laughs> let's be honest, you know, you've tried this product already. Yeah. You and know, let's show you what we got. For you. But they're gonna spend some money. You know. Oh yeah. It, so, for, so for instance, whenever I was in the in the league, like I say, you know, we had guys sponsored by uh Nike and Under Armour. Yep. And like most of the guys were sponsored by Nike. But they really wanted to be sponsored by Under Armour because mm-hmm. Under Armour was paying the most money right, to get yeah. to get guys in. Which I mean, that's that's gonna play a big deal in it because yeah. Nike got you no. Know, let's let's just say a hundred people were um, Under Armour has like fifty, but yeah. at the same time, uh, whenever CJ Spiller signed to Adidas, he signed to them because they only take like 10, 10 people 10. a year. Gotcha. Which oh, which gotcha. which you you get paid the you most paid money. More. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. But hey, but real talk though, <clears throat> y'all y'all think Nike didn't slid Zion a check already? <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry about the knee, buddy. Yeah, I'm just saying, y'all y'all think he hey he didn't get that signing bonus? It's that it's that you know like when you buy something is that um you know you can buy an extended warranty, but that's that you got that manufactured warranty that somehow you never you know you, you never really use never but uh, never yeah I think they gave him they gave him a, a little. A little something. I mean, I don't know. Right. You know, maybe, maybe they, maybe, maybe. Hey, I, some something then got signed. Yeah, I think so. Hey, Zion gonna show up to class next week. <laughs> oh, like, with, like, hey, you know, Jordan, hold on. hey, oh, you think Jordan gonna jump in, jump in? Get oh, a, hey, why not? Get, he thinks why not? Gonna give him a good pitch why not? Hey, in the fight too. Zion gonna get dropped off at class in a damn Maybach next week. Boy, ain't gonna wonder what the hell going on. Hey, somebody hey. to pay something. Hey, I'm I hope not, man. You. I, yeah, I, I hope not. not cause I you hope know, not either. Cause, cause that's my nigga soccer line of brother. So you know, I yep. I hope he he stay away from all the trouble and yep. everything with their ages and get yeah. get get you know get they paid stuff. Neck. You know they had his neck bad. Yeah, yeah exactly. Neck bad. There's neck bad. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, he's got somebody around him to um, help him make the right decisions mm-hmm. and. Um, you know, not only just that receiving money, but just staying out of trouble, period. Yeah, it's yeah exactly. It's easy for a kid. You know, there's still kids out there. It's real easy for a kid to um, be influencing and get in some trouble, uh, you know, away from home in college. And, you know, y'all know how it is at uh, Duke University, too. You know, exactly. Them, them, they, they wild out there. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? See if, see, if he was at Carolina, you know what I mean, well, my favorite <laughs> college, they'd be nice and civilized. You know what I mean? You don't have to worry about nothing like that. But, uh, yeah, hopefully he, he stays on the right path. Well, you know, I was hoping he he went to Clemson, but uh, <laughs> oh hell, really? Hey, hey, we offered him. 
Tig. He should have. He should have went. If y'all should offer for football, he would have came in. He ain't going to no Clemson play no basketball. Man, uh, man. What, what the last big name came out of Clemson for basketball? Man, uh, I think. Look at you, Devin Booker. Mm. Uh, when? What year that was? Uh, two thousand nine, I think. Good Lord. 2010, so like y'all ain't even had no team <laughs> since then, huh? Hey, well, hold on, huh? they had they had they had a couple of good years. What what you call decent good? Year. What? De- well, hold on, decent years. Did they make did they make the decent. tournament? Man, or did they make the NIT? All I tell you, they NIT. Kept, <laughs> all I tell hey, you, it's okay though. All of them kept their shoes on throughout the season. <laughs> <laughs> so. See, so it's upgrade. T's got a leg to stand on. <laughs> Yo, you ain't right, it's man. You uh, ain't right, boy. Oh man, oh man, Yo, oh, man. Wow, man. Oh, Dang. shoot, hey man, that's that's a note to everybody, man. Keep your dog on shoes on. Keep yeah. them on. Be yeah, careful never, with your shoes. You never know what a person's going to until you walk a mile in their shoes. Yeah, you know, cause you know those are. Uh, Chuck Taylor's got extra little boats on the bottom of them so you can screw them in and make yeah. them a little tighter. <laughs> but if you bust out the bottom of them, I mean, it's hey, over. yeah, it's, it's over. over. It's hey, over. You know? It's over, man. You, you know what I mean? It's just different. If the shoe was on the other foot, you know. It's literally. Just, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Things might have been different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, Sue. Oh, what you oh, got, Cap, man? man. Take hey. us home, man. The legs you haul. Hey, the legs you haul. Hey, what we doing, Cap? The legs you haul. Hey, the legs you haul. And who yeah. we coming for? All of y'all. Hey, coming for? All, all of y'all. y'all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, about to yeah. close uh-huh. this thing, y'all. Hey. This is your captain speaking. Yeah, I see you looking. I know you peeping. Hey, yep. Trying to be quiet. I know you creeping. I'm freestyling just for the weekend. Hey. Now it's a Monday. Yes, this is a fun day. Oh, hey. I said hello and I want to hear that gunplay. No, hey. this is that lecture hall. Put on your shoes and I hope you don't fall. <laughs> hey. <laughs> and I hope you can ball. Yep, yep. This is for all of y'all. Oh, about hey. to close it out and mm, take it all about. Oh, yes, yes. Talk quiet. Don't shout. Hey. The lecture hall, hey, the lecture hall, hey, coming for all, all of y'all. y'all. Who we coming for? All, all of y'all, man. We gotta hey. tell them one time, hey, lecture hall, lecture hall. Last time, tell them who we coming for. For all, all of y'all, hey, for all, all of y'all. y'all, man. Pick it up, Tig. You got it. Hey, oh, hey. I'ma pick it up for you. Yeah, pick it up just like I'm about to throw you. Oh. Throw you straight out the dope. Dope. You ain't even know I can rap low. Like, oh. oh yeah. I mess it up a little. Just bring it back, then I pass it to my brother. Hey, brother. hey. And he passed it to the brother. brother. Rich daddy coming like no other. other. I'm not gonna curse. I'm gonna keep it Walmart. Yeah. Keep it rated G for all the. I man, I don't know rapper, man. Rapper. Hey, 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 you know what? Out, man. Man. I got y'all next week. I got y'all next week. Nah, see, Let's go close see, it out see, 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 see. My brother done put me on the spot. Yeah. Now, hey, now next week I'm, I'm gonna be real. I got something for y'all next week. Hey, oh man, we gonna close it out with that, man. I'm been saying by like episode one, lecture hall. Be ready for ex- episode two, two man. You. you know what I'm saying? It might be we might have like two listeners right now. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we hope that grows. We hope we giving y'all something. You know mm-hmm. something good. Hey. Podcasting, baby. That's what we do. Holla. Everybody stay up, man. Spirits high. Yeah.